I think they're ambassadors for our business overall. They um, always come in, they have a thirst for knowledge. And What's really, really lovely is when you hear them boast about the apprenticeship scheme they've gone through, the qualifications they've got. I've gained a lot of knowledge through doing this apprenticeship. Um, I've got involved in projects and situations that I wouldn't normally get involved in and it's helped towards my confidence in striving towards my goal. Well, apart from the qualifications um, and the confidence thing, um, I've learned that I'm not as stupid as what I thought I was. I don't know how you found it, Bobby, but, you know, I've really found it one of the rewarding parts of my career and my day-to-day -day working life, you know, to provide the support and mentor to someone who, in the first instance, questions their ability of being able to get you know, through the qualification. I think, you know, some of the girls that we've had go through, you know, they have been so nervous to start off with. And then you set in the mentoring sessions with them and you talk them through some of the things they can be doing. And when they get to that final part and they get their certificates, not only are they proud, but God, so are we. We're really, really proud of them. I was given a couple of weeks to settle into my role prior to signing up for my MVQ. Um, I was very lucky my mentor was my day-to-day -day manager. But, um, I struggled with going back to education. <laughs> because it had been a while, and but once I got realised that I had to help and support and people around me, then yeah, it was all right in the end. I found the process really easy going. Uh, Simon come in, sort of signed me up to everything, and uh, yeah. The mental involvement is phenomenal, and the support that the learners actually get through the apprenticeship um, is really high quality. It's not often that you'll get um, supervisors um, on all different levels that will support the learners, and we can't um, fault them in any way at Spicer's at all. And from my personal view, I've been coming into Spicer Heart now for the best part of four years, uh, and in that time, the support they provided for me uh, and the job that I do here is, is, is exceptional. I mean, they've, they've always made their learners available for me. They've always provided them with support, with guidance, with, with all the, that we request that the, the company and the mentor do. I'm only on my first MVQ, but I'd definitely do a second one. Um, the team are supportive, friendly, um, and the whole, the whole thing is just confidence building. I would definitely recommend anyone doing an apprenticeship. Being a mother myself, I've done the same thing with my daughter quite recently. And whilst not in the admin sector in hairdressing, um, gave her a great start from leaving school and gaining a qualification. Oh, fantastic. I, I would certainly recommend it to anybody. It doesn't matter what age either. We've got apprentices here of, of all different ages. And we've actually seen people progress through the ranks, move into team leader roles. We've even got one lady that's gone into the accounts department as well and fulfilling her dreams. So I would certainly recommend it. And I've been with Spice Heart four years and I've done four MVQs in that time. Um, you're never too young or too old to complete an MVQ in support and training is second to none. I would definitely recommend someone doing an MVQ. Like, if, like me, they don't think they can do it and they can, so do it. Yay! <laughs> no, <right>. <laughs> <laughs>